Fun Fishing is brought to you by Vance's Tackle and by Rainbow Plastics, available at your local tackle store. Alan, remember when I had the Superman shirt on and I tried out fishing? Oh yeah, it didn't work. Well, look at this. <laughs> you gotta be kidding me. <laughs> Fun fishing, plus you got it on back. Right, yeah, fish on! <laughs> Fish can is fine, but catching fish is funner. Oh, Where fish it's trying to pack with the spring of summer. From Sacramento River to the San Francisco Bay, we're gonna show you how to catch some fish today. Salmon, bass, or trout, halibut is what it's all about. Stripers on the Delta. <laughs> you gotta be kidding me. Fish on. Alright. Fishing is fine, but hooking is the only way. We're gonna show you how to catch some fish today. Welcome to Fun Fishing. I'm Warren Trumbly. Hi, I'm Alan Fong, and we're gonna do something a little bit different this time. <laughs> yeah? What are we gonna yeah. do? As you can see, we're not outside in a boat or no water. Okay. We're in your office. All right. We're in the studio, mm -hmm. and we're going to actually show you how to spoon. Spoon. Jig, spoon. Jig. That, okay. Um, you know, we're going to show you some scripts, and we'll be down on the Sacramento River mm -hmm. uh, doing salmon. We did a striper one. Okay. But you can catch anything. And, and that's spoon. down on the Delta? Down on yeah. the Delta, and right here downtown Sacramento. Okay. And so we can spoon for, you said, anything? Any kind of fish. Crappie, trout, anything. Anything okay. that bites bait will hit a spoon. Okay. Now, I remember one time you and I went out a long time ago, and we spooned for catfish. Everything. Catfish. I mean, I've caught tons of catfish spooning. Okay. And um, there's just anything that'll attack bait will hit a spoon. And there's a way to do it, and we're going to show you. Okay. In so, the studio. Okay. Because there's a unique technique, isn't there? Yes, there is. And I haven't quite figured it out yet. No, you haven't. <laughs> but you always get luck out in the back into something. Okay. So... Show us how to spoon, Alan. Yeah, we're going to teach we're you how ready? to spoon. Yeah, in the office here, we're going to do slow motion effects. We're going to do everything for you and show okay. you. That way you'll learn the right way. Okay, well, let's take a look. Let's go. All right. Here you can see we're on the Sacramento River. Mm -hmm. We're right downtown Sacramento. Uh-huh. Yeah, we're going to, this is when we were doing a little salmon jigging. Okay. One of the most important things is boat control. And as you can see, um, I only moved the boat just go in and out a little bit. Mm -hmm. So we're drifting with the speed of the current. Okay. And then learning how to do it right, um, jigging it up and down. Now, now, what are you doing here on the jigging that's that's so critical? As soon as it hits the bottom, you want to pop it up and follow your line back down without letting it get all loose. Okay, and that's why you adjusted the line because the bottom changes mm -hmm. a little bit? I'm always changing for the depth of the bottom. Okay, so, and, and you're popping yeah, I'm jigging. The, as soon as it hits the bottom, that's the signal to pop it up real fast. Okay. So I'm popping it up, following mm -hmm. it back down. But okay. you want to let the spoon fall at its own rate of speed. You don't want to keep it from falling. And then 99% of the time, your strikes will come on the fall. Okay, because my line sometimes gets wrapped around the end of the, yeah, the rod. Yeah, because you're dropping like it a little bit too fast. Okay. You need to pause a little bit on top and then follow it down until you feel it at the bottom. Okay. As soon as it hits the bottom, it's a trigger to pop it back up. Okay, now if we look at slow motion here. And when we did okay. a slow motion, we'll mm -hmm. get really go in detail how it's okay. doing. Okay. As you see, I'm popping the rod up, I pause for a second, and I'm following it back down, letting the spoon fall at its own rate. As soon as it hits the bottom, you see me pop it back up, following it down. And you get your hit, it's going to be when that thing is going down. Okay. So you want to make sure, as soon as it hits the bottom, it's a signal, pop it up. Okay. Straight up and down, vertical. You want your line straight up and down, current's giving you your speed. Uh -huh. The only thing I'm using the boat for is to move in and out okay. on the brake line. And we can see here the line 
it, it just it just slacks up a little bit. It Correct. doesn't really come real loose. No, does it? you don't want it coiling on you. Okay. Most people will lift, pop it up, let it fall, and it's all coiled. Mm -hmm. You don't feel nothing. So you want to make sure you're following that spoon down. Mm -hmm. Don't hold it up and keep it falling. Yeah. You let it fall on its own rate. And there you just adjust. You saw it. me pull up the line because it came up a little shallower. Okay. See, so everything has like a rhythm to it and a okay. feel. Mm -hmm. And once you get that, you, you'll catch all kinds of fish. So if you use a different type of spoon, a heavier spoon or lighter spoon, you have to change Correct. your tempo? Well, the faster the current, the heavier the spoon. Okay. I always try to go the lightest I can. And then once that line, just for, say that line kept drifting off on me, mm -hmm. and I would go to a heavier spoon. Go okay. another, go to a three ounce instead of a two. Okay. Until I can keep it straight up and down. So right. there's a there's a trick to this spoon. And you just don't tie anything on and go jig it up and down. Okay, so you, you need to actually change the weight of the spoon. Correct, keep it vertical. Based on the current. Correct. Okay. And it, as soon as it hits the bottom, you, you see as soon as it, watch that tip. As okay. soon as it hits the bottom, it's like instant. Yeah, I could, I could actually just see it actually see, hit the bottom right there. there. And pop and, it. And then see you that? snap it up. Yep, snap it up. You okay. want to jump start it. You got to jump start these spoons and make them work. Mm -hmm. yeah, okay. It's just a funny thing when you could do it in a pool and watch, but when you just lift it up real slow, the spoon will come up straight. If you snap it, the spoon comes up crooked, and then it'll have that fluttering action. Okay. You have to make it flutter. Okay, but if you let it down too slow, it'll just, you're just it won't, raising it, just it up and down. It'll go straight down like a just vertical instead of it moving around okay. and shimmying on you. And boat control, I can't emphasize how much important it is to have boat control. You don't want to, you don't need to lift up 10 feet up in the air. A lot of times two, three feet is plenty. Mm -hmm. Okay. And this is for salmon fishing, but you can do this for everything. Now, oh, I spoon for everything. Okay. Now in lakes? Lakes, trout, um, bass. Crappie, mm -hmm. everything will hit a spoon. Anything okay. that feeds on bait will hit a spoon. Huh. And it's all done okay. the same way. Well, how about for salmon now? It's can just I, harder in the river because you got current. Yeah, can I catch a salmon? Oh, maybe? yeah, you get lucky once in a while. Oh, you got. What do you got? <laughs> Don't lift them out of the water. Take the line out again. Hey, you got one. Oh. See the lines going up and down from the bottom up? Uh huh. That's my spoon. Yeah. Fish huh. finder will pick it up. That's my jig going up and down. Those lines that look like V's right there, that's my spoon going up and down. Yeah, that's how sensitive these units are. They'll pick up your spoon if you have it adjusted right. Now, Alan, we're we're watching the uh, the scope here, and, mm -hmm. and we're actually seeing fish down there. Are those salmon? Yeah, you can actually see salmon, mm -hmm. you know, in the river. I grafted many of them, dropped it down there, and caught them. Okay. There's a myth about that, you know, like in the ocean, you mm -hmm. can't you can't see them. You know, I do a lot of ocean fishing, and no, mm -hmm. I can't see them. Okay. They're one of the very few fish that can release all the air out of their system when they descend down. So when they come up chase the bait mm -hmm. and they let all the air out you can't mark them. Okay. I've seen silvers you know up on the top mm -hmm. but in the river here not deep enough and I mark them all the time. Okay. And catch them. Okay. Well it looks like you might have a fish on here. Oh yeah. finally. Did you get a fish? Yeah. All right. Look at that. Big boy. Ooh look at that. Boy, I got That's me a, a monster. Yeah. <laughs> He's got to be 40. Oh, come on. Yeah. You're going to tow us around. See what happens when you have patience and wait all day? <laughs> you got the big fish. <laughs> well, we've seen him once or twice. You're all right. Okay, you ready? I'm ready. Oh, it's not ready, is it? He will be in a minute. God, I got him. Mm -hmm. Let him first. Oh, what a haul! Oh, oh, oh. Got him. Let me... What? <laughs> oh, I'm getting a shower. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on, do we work my plier? Oh, that's a fight in the net. Oh. 
Hold it, hold it, hold it. Okay. Look at that hog. Oh, man. You want to see that picture? Even I get lucky once in a while. Oh man, you you got the you got the big fish. <laughs> but what of the we're day. doing is we're gonna show you how to jig and how you okay. can catch all species jigging. Okay. So and we we can catch all the different species, salmon, trout, trout. crappie, bass, you name it. Whatever okay. chases shad, you can mm -hmm. catch them spooning. Okay. And it's a very deadly technique. Okay. And and then part part of the technique you talk about boat control. Now is boat control different in boat control is very important when you're jigging. Mm -hmm. Very, very important. Okay. Keeping that boat on the brake line and then okay. keeping it going the right speed. Yeah. You're talking about a ledge? This is a ledge where it's a comfort zone for salmon where they mm -hmm. come up. Stripers use brake lines to push bait up into and trap them. Mm -hmm. um, brakes are very important when you're jigging. Okay. And keeping that boat there. Now we're drifting down on the Sacramento River right now. Correct. And, and so we're drifting on a brake line. In mm -hmm. fact, we're going by a bunch of guys here that are... <laughs> yeah, see these guys, the brake line right by their dock with their building. Yeah. And as you can see, I'm keeping the boat in the current mm -hmm. and I'm letting speed. No different than trolling speed, but it's current speed. Mm -hmm. That's what we're using. Yeah. So you adjust around it. And you just missed one. Oh, fish oh, 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 oh. <laughs> That's the same one you just lost. <laughs> there we go. Look at this. Yep. This is fun fishing. Real fun when you get the big one. Welcome back to Fun Fishing, <laughs> and we're talking about spooning, Alan. Mm -hmm. Talking about showing you how to spoon for uh, salmon, stripers, all species. Okay. You, you caught a nice salmon. <laughs> yeah, I caught the bigger one that day. <laughs> yeah. Even well, I get lucky sometimes. <laughs> you lost it? Lost him. Ah, oh, there he is, too. He lost him. Oh. Hey, folks. He thought he had a snag, that's why. Because he went, oh, I got a snag. <laughs> I want. Yeah, I'm afraid so. See? Oh, uh, I tell you, if it wasn't for bad luck, I'd have no luck at all. <laughs> Fish on. There nah. we go. I got him that time. You got a snag. No, I don't. You got, you got him? Whoa. Oh, no, he I got, got a nice one. Oh. Ain't this something. Now, this is fun fishing. Oh. Here we go. Uh, uh. Whoa! We got it. We're in the studio today, and we're talking about spooning and how we can spoon for all different species Correct. of fish. Correct. All different kinds. Okay. And we were talking about the brake lines following that. Following that brake line, that brake little line. ledge where the fish used to travel. Okay. It's just like you walking on the sidewalk. Okay. The brake line is somewhere where the fish use All right. to travel. And we did pretty good catching salmon, didn't we? Yeah, we did. And uh, I got luckier than you this time. Yeah, you got the big one. <laughs> <laughs> okay. But yeah, the boat control is just so important. Mm -hmm. It's just this jigging the lure up and down right. Uh-huh. Okay, and that's vertical jigging. Vertical jigging. Okay. And what we're going to do is we're going to take you out and show you a little bit on stripers because it's a little bit different because salmon are going to point A to point B mm -hmm. and they strike out of meanness. Okay. Stripers feed. So you got to put that idea in your mind that you want to go to where the stripers are pushing the bait up against okay. the brake line. We use the, the same techniques. Same technique. But we have to think like the fish do. Correct. Like okay. they're feeding. A little bit different down there. Mm -hmm. The further you get to the ocean, the more current you're going to have to mm -hmm. deal with. Mm -hmm. And like Jigging is no different than trolling. If okay. you're trolling, you can always let off the throttle. Okay. So when you're spooning, you use the current for your speed, and you drift. Okay. You make your lures adjusted to the speed of the current. Okay. So you adjust your lures to the speed of the current. Correct. Keep that line okay. vertical. Keep the line vertical. Yep. Well, let's see what you Fifty said there. Jigging is making sure your line is perpendicular, straight up and down. Mm -hmm. And what you want to do is you, you're going to as soon as your rod tip hits by the water like this, you're going to make contact with the bottom, and then you pop it up. And then you follow it down, you feel, feel it hit the bottom, you pop it up. And it's a rhythm. See, it's just a, a rhythm like this. Your line always stays tight, so if your line's getting all curly, you're not doing it right. Here's an example about where we're actually positioning the boat. Okay. And you look at all our films, you're going to see nothing but water. And okay. we're actually on a shoal, mm -hmm. on a brake line, and we're on the end where the current's pushing into it. So you go okay. to that end of the island. 
You, you go underwater. With the, you say that again. I want to make sure I understand. <laughs> you can. You can get these a map or look or topo map, you know how I show you on the charts, mm -hmm. and there'll be an island out there, and mm -hmm. the break line is the end we're fishing, but that break line goes the whole length of that island. Okay. Well, if the island is a half mile long, you want to be on the end where the current's pushing into. You want the water pushing into, into the front. That. That's so that, the that end like you fish. pushes the bait in Correct. into that area, forces exactly. it up shallow. Correct. And the big old fish come up. They're either on the edge or up on top. And they grab my lure. And grab my, my lure. spoon. Yeah, they grab your spoon. All right. So that's how we spoon. That's how we're spooning. Yeah. All right. And that's in the delta. That's in the delta. All right. Wow. But what we're doing now is we're just working a little break line right here, and mm -hmm. we're in like 25 feet of water, and okay. we're just following on the edge where the current's pushing us into it. And mm -hmm. if they were here, I see them down there, but they're just not cooperating yet. Yeah, we keep, <laughs> we keep, just got to keep moving until you find them. Okay. You know, we're seeing a lot of them. The tide should be changing here pretty soon, but mm -hmm. just got to keep moving. Okay. Got another fish here. Good one? Yeah, not bad. There we go. Almost a keeper. Oh, man. You miss him? Yeah. yeah. Look how white they are. See how pale they are? Yeah. It's a pretty fish. I really like spooning. For stripers. Nah. Yeah, locker. Oh, check that. <laughs> Big fish. <laughs> Warren caught it. I just hold. <laughs> That's your dinner that. tonight. <laughs> yeah. He tried to eat something as big as him. He's so cute. Yeah. Well, I didn't get stung. I'm glad to hear that. Welcome back to Fun Fishing. We're talking about jigging, jigging, spooning, spooning uh -huh. for all different species of fish. All species. You know, we did a, we showed you some clips of our salmon mm -hmm. and stripers, mm -hmm. but I mean, we spoon for black bass, crappie, mm -hmm. even catfish. We did one day. <laughs> and one of the things we haven't talked about is the spoon yet. Yeah. And we they, have all different colors. All and... different styles, kind. They all flutter a little differently. So mm -hmm. it depends on the fish's mood. Mm -hmm. No different than a crankbait or a worm. There's make different styles of spoon. This is one a buddy of mine made out of a, a, a knife handle or piece of silverware. Uh huh. And uh, it catches fish. I've, I'll vouch you that. <laughs> this one here is uh -huh. actually one that is the only one that has a rattling chamber in it. Oh, it, oh, it rattles? Yeah, it rattles. I designed it. Oh, come on now. I did. And it's the only one that has an internal rattle inside. A screw loose, huh? Yeah. Mm -hmm. okay. And this is my baby. And so you can make your own. Uh-huh. You buy them. casted lead. Mm -hmm. and, and you can paint these any color. Any like, color you want. Like one of your most successful ones is a real dark green. Correct. Isn't it? Actually, mm -hmm. as you get into colors, we didn't really get into a whole lot of colors, but mm -hmm. you know, like if you nighttime fish, dark hook. I mean, dark baits work better. So okay. when you're down there 30 feet, it's pretty dark. So I use a lot of dark greens and okay. blacks. So in the middle of the day, I'd want to use this, this white or one. Or shell or like in 15 feet of water. Okay. And then also one has a treble hook and one has a Correct. Make sure hook. you check your regs because in our area, mm -hmm. anything that weighs over an ounce, it's non-buoyant, you have to have a single hook. So now we need it to comes check. in a box is like this, mm -hmm. illegal. Ah, yeah, so we have change to change the hook them out. to a single hook. Okay, and then this is rigged up with with the mono line. Correct. That has a thirty pound test mono, eighteen to twenty inches. Okay. All right. And then up to a barrel swivel. Okay. And then in this case, and we this have has braid, braid on it. On it. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, is there a? Um, the reason, a reason I use that heavy line right here mm -hmm. is to keep the spoon from falling over. Because okay. this spoon, when you jump start it, it's going to flutter like this. Okay. And if you just ran braid, it'll probably end up like that all the time. What do we look for in a rod? Um, I use seven footers and okay. something in a medium heavy. Let's look at the, the video here. We watch the, the rods moving. Yeah, you can watch the rod and you see how it bends when mm -hmm. it loads up and you pop it. The rod actually gives. You don't want it too soft? Mm -hmm. Too stiff. No, softer the better. Well, I think we've covered a lot of material. Yeah, we did. On spooning. We in went the in the studio, showed you slow motion, showed everything. So you, I know you got to be able to catch them. Now, cold water. Cold water. Very uh, important. Um, I was down in the Delta this week, and the water is 40 degrees. Mm -hmm. And all the reports I heard from fishermen is it's real slow. Well, I got onto a spoon bite. We caught over 30, mm -hmm. and we we're in 25 feet of water and hardly moving the spoon. 
thing. So in other words, we drop the spoon to the bottom and I would lift it, pop it only about a foot off the bottom, almost like you're dragging it. Okay. And we were catching it, left and right. In the cold water. In the cold water. Well, we slow told, down. We told you everything you need to know. Yeah. Go out and go fishing and come back and join us next week on Fun, Fun Fishing. fishing. Fish Jam is fine, but catching fish is funner. Whether it's autumn, winter, spring, or summer. From Sacramento River to the San Francisco Bay, we're gonna show you how to catch some fish today. Salmon, bass, or trout, halibut is what it's all about. Stripers on the Delta. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Our camera guy was out fishing the other day and he fell out of the boat. He couldn't get back in. The best way to do it is swim back to the back of the boat. Okay. Put your feet on there. Hit that trim button right here. Right here. Trim it up. Woo there you go. Climb in. That's how you get back in the boat if you ever had to. Now, if wow. he could do it, anybody could do it. <laughs> Use your motor, trim it back up, and you just climb right in. Alan! Alan, wait for me! Fishing is fun, but hooking is the only way. We're gonna show you how to catch some fish today.